Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth risking their lives to bring this truth and also unto those who are sincerely seeking this truth Shalom it's the brother Yara Yah from the GMS Italia camp and I just wanted to do a quick one on what happened this past Sunday at the GMS Italia camp so as you can see on the screen this is the video of you know the camp we had on sunday okay and that's myself right there yara ya that's the brother yahawada and that's kalam who is a speckled bird a very strong a very strong brother but the spirits you know heavily working on him you know each one of us we have our different qualities you know the brother right here he has a very heavy spirit working on him you know you could just tell him about a scripture without even remembering you know the verse the chapter and you know the spirit is heavenly on the brother you know he just tells you what chapter the verse and everything and the brother right here Kalam. He has a very strong spirit that he can discern spirits, you know. So, and he has another, another great gift. His gift is just according to his name, which is Kalam. Kalam means dream. You know, this brother, he gets a lot of visions, you know. I can remember when he was coming into his troop while I was teaching him. You know, the most I hear about Hashem Yahushai gave me, you know, the spirit to be the one to teach this brother right here, Halam. And while he was coming into this truth, you know, he had some doubts. And wh whatever I told him, you know, I tell him to always pray over it and call on the name Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. He would call on those names. And before morning, the brother would have a, a vision about everything I told him, man. You know? So he has a very strong spirit as well. Very heavy spirit, you know. According to me, you know, I've been ordained by the Apostle of Great, Great Millstone, you know, especially Apostle Gabar. You know, I've been ordained to be the, the leader of the GMS Italia camp. I can tell you that these brothers right here, you know, the spirit is heavily working on them, you know. And I actually needed these brothers, you know, to help me grow stronger in the spirit, you know, in this truth. So anyway, I just wanted to do that short introduction, you know, introduce these brothers, which actually means nothing. You know, we're here to actually teach the truth, you know. Well, I just wanted to share this testimony on these brothers, you know, these beautiful brothers, the most high, Yahweh, Bashem, Shai, you know, gave me the privilege of, you know, doing this work with you know i'm really grateful to the most i help hashem Shai, you know for giving me this such brethren so anyway this is the lesson you see you can see a man standing right here you know i'm going to play a little bit of a video and i'll show you i'll tell you what happened Infatti, 
So to cut the long story short, well, you can see this video on my page. Okay, it's right there, you know. So this man is stopped by while we were teaching, you know. And you know, the spirit was really heavy on us because, you know, we actually started this lesson going through the spirit, you know. And the spirit, you know, was just coming through, man. You know, coming with different precepts, you know. We started teaching different things, you know, breaking down the scriptures and getting, you know, even more and more precepts, you know. So anyway, this man stopped by and he looked really interested and it was, you know, just listening to what we were teaching. And there's something I really need to point out because the brother Kalam wasn't feeling very comfortable with this man right here. You know, he already actually had a strong feeling that, you know, this is a, 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 a so-called Edomite, you know. But me, at the middle, you know, still trying to be like, you know, let me just keep on teaching, you know. You can, never can tell. It might, it might actually, you know, embrace this truth, you know. So I was teaching and explaining, you know, the scriptures, you know, doing different breakdowns, you know. So he was listening and he was nodding his head. It looks really strange because he had these dark shades on and he had his face covered with a mask. So he actually wanted to know who we, who we are actually, you know. The spirit was heavy on the brother Kalam and it was like, you know, it doesn't really matter who we are. It's the, it's the truth that we're teaching that really matters, you know. So the brother Kalam had to have a spirit on him that, you know, he didn't want to even just, you know, give him any open doors or anything. You know, and it was, at the end of the day, you find that it was right. So, you know, I went through the spirit and I, you know, gave him explanation that we actually, the people, the scriptures are speaking about, you know, the 12 tribes of Israel who are scattered around the four corners of the earth, you know. So I told him that. So what happened was he was listening and listening and he got to a point. He asked a very stupid question that I wasn't really expecting, you know. You know, we broke down a lot of things to him, you know, about the truth, you know, the Renaissance, you know, about everything, you know, broke down different kinds of truth to him, you know. That's supposed to really touch him if he was part of the elect, those who are kept apart to have this truth, you know. So what happened was, he asked the question, and the question was, why does the Heavenly Father need the so-called UFOs to transport his angels, you know. <laughs> so when he asked the question, you know, the brother Kalam looked at me and he was like, you know, I told you this man is not ready for this truth. He's just here to waste some time. And, you know, it might be an insider, you know, trying to gather some information on us, you know. So, you know, I started coming out with different presets and letting him know. No, at first, they actually asked what were the, you, what, are, what were the unidentified, um, flying objects you know the ufos the so-called ufos so i explained to him that they were the chariots of the most high yahweh shem yahushai then after i explained all this you know he came up with a question and asked why the most High needed these chariots you know to fly his angels so you see well the lesson i actually want to touch is you know this man would have really been if if he was truly seeking his truth, he would have really been edified by different, you know, stuffs that would bring up. We didn't come into this truth and asking such questions, man. We came into this truth asking different questions. We asked questions like, who truly are the Israelites? We asked questions, why are we in the situation that we find ourselves today? 
we ask questions like if the most i truly love everyone you know why are we in this state that we are today we got the questions from the scriptures man through the elders and apostles of great millstone gms so these are the kinds of questions we asked we didn't ask ask questions like why the most i needed chariots to fly his angels you know these are really stupid questions you know people be asking all different kinds of stupid questions that really doesn't make sense that wouldn't help them grow neither spiritually or physically you should ask questions that are necessary for your growth that are necessary for the next step you have to take so anyway i have two scriptures and i'm just going to share first i'll go to the book of um, titus um chapter 3 verse 9 this is the book of titus chapter 3 verse 9 which quotes but avoid foolish questions okay and genealogies and contentions and strivings about law for they are unprofitable in vain a man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition rejects knowing that he that is such is subverted and seen it being condemned of himself the point right here is avoid foolish questions you know this was really a foolish question out of place you know we actually got surprised when this man you know came up with this question let me play a little bit more he was all serious standing there you know listening to everything we were saying you know i see if you know finally you found the truth or something you know but you know the mo most i how about shemi how shy kept different spirits on each brother you know the brother Kalam could feel it immediately. His spirit was not really in accordance with his man, you know. Ever since he came, you know, he was, you know, he was a little hostile to the man, you know, and the spirit, you know. And he was right. He knew this man was just here to waste time to ask foolish questions, you know, questions that wouldn't permit you any growth, you know. You didn't ask questions, why, why are we in this condition that we are. I didn't ask questions like who really are the Israelites, the true Israelites, the Bible is speaking of. He didn't ask questions like what are these chariots going to do? You know, why do we see them so often? You know, he didn't ask such questions. He went ahead and he asked why the most I needed such carrier chariots to fly his angels, you know. So you see right there, I'm going to share another scripture. This is the book of Timothy, chapter 2, verse 23. I didn't write well. Let me just put everything. 2 23. Why am I not getting it? Oh, I guess I'm getting something wrong. I don't think it's like this, but let's try. Oops. Excuse me, I think I'm, you know, I'm writing something wrong. So let's do it this way. Second Timothy. Ah, yeah, I didn't put the second Timothy. 
Pardon me. Pardon me. 223. So this is the second book of Timothy, chapter 2, verse 23. He quotes, But foolish and unlearned questions are void, knowing that they do gender strifes. Okay? Wait. Let me see if I'm actually... Yep. It say, But foolish and unlearned questions are void. You know? Why coming into this truth, man? You shouldn't be asking foolish questions. You should be asking questions that are going to help you grow spiritually. You know? Well, I just wanted to, you know, drop a short one on this part of the video. You can go watch the rest of the video on my channel. And having said this, I hope this video was edifying. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Raktaza. And I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai Bahashem Kakudash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Shalom.